All right, Cancer North Node, if you are wondering what is going on with you right now, sometimes looking at the North Node and doing these little readings for um, each of the zodiac signs uh, in the North Node is super helpful because our North Node is kind of foreign territory for us. It is the karmic path you're here to walk. If your life doesn't work, look at the North Node, okay? Not, it's not the North Node's fault, it's the answer. It has the keys to how to get out of a stuck place. Most people hug on really tight to that south node because it's our natural talents, our natural abilities, but you're not here just to sit in what you already know. You're here in this lifetime to be pushed towards something that uh, may not be uh, all that familiar to you, okay? So you are a cancer north node, which means you're heading in the direction of your feelings, Okay, and that's something that's very important for you to embrace. It's also Cancer North Node can be a lot of different things, especially as it relates to your ancestors, it relates to your lineage, it relates to your mother. There, it's mostly about nurturing though, okay? So I did a little reading for you. This should take you to the end of March uh, to give you a little sense of what's gonna be going on and what the energies are around Cancer North Node. So Cancer, if you have Cancer in the North Node, that means you have Capricorn in the South Node. And Cancer in the, in the North Node is about a quest to find your home. And in a past life, you were very successful at career, um, career and being in the world in a successful way, you know, making money, being in corporate America, whatever it is, or corporate anywhere. Um, now it's not about that. Okay. It's not about that. This is Capricorn and cancer is a big work, work life balance issue. So Capricorn North, you guys going toward that <clears throat> public facing expression and really wanting to be at home or really wanting to be in somewhere that's more comfortable. Cancer North node is that quest to find your home. And you have that Capricorn kind of um, bulldozer mentality. <laughs> it's a positive thing. Um, but your job is to be more nurturing. So the quest is to find your home for cancer. And uh, Cancer North Node is asking, is being asked to create harmony through balance. So a very different experience. And Cancer to me is very divine feminine. Capricorn is very divine masculine. And so you're going to have to learn some new skills, okay? No, these are three-month readings, Callie. So it's, you know, until spring starts. Um, I'm including January in this because the original six videos included January, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what's going on for Cancerians. Ooh, I just used this deck. I'm not going to use this again. Um, what is going on for Cancer North Node folks? What is going on for Cancer North Node folks? All right. Okay. So underneath is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Wow. 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 Knight of Knight of Swords. This is about holding your tongue a little bit or learning how to communicate without it being too sharp, which is very Cancer North Node. Very Cancer North Node. But here you are, Knight of Swords. <laughs> That's pretty sharp. This is about resentment. This is about feeling misunderstood. The situation is the death card. So transformative. Look at this. So the two horses are going in different directions. I feel like that death energy can be a, a more mature energy, more, hey, let's do this one step at a time. Let's not be, you know, talking to people in such a sharp way or something like that. Um, opportunity is the magician. Very cool. Where are we going here? Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Queen of Swords. Okay. And the outcome is the Knight of Pentacles, which is another horse. So the way forward here is uh, a little bit different than what you want to do. You're the Knight of Swords. So you're going like crazy, crazy, going towards things in a very Capricornian way because that's your South Node. That's what your comfort zone is. What's being asked of you is, nope, 
We've got to be more methodical. We've got to be more nurturing. We've got to be more caretaking. We've got to be more kind. And I just feel like this is an opposite thing. Like everything inside of you, because you have accomplished in past lives doing this, I'm going forward no matter what. I'm taking action. I'm doing my thing. The transformation here is to learn how to work with people, learn how to manifest in a, in such a way that's more nurturing. And I do think that slower pace is going to vary, is going to help you being of slower pace is going to help you. I also think there is something here about embracing the traditional and moving forward. So I like this because it's not the, it's not the knight of swords. It's not the sharp energy there. It's much more about, there's a feminine energy to this, but it's clear, right? It's clear. This is Taurus energy that is about home and hearth and all of that. So it's kind of like, all right, I'm redefining what that is for myself. And the whole time, the reason for this Knight of Swords is that that Capricorn South Node is saying to you, screw them before they screw you. Okay, there's a little bit of that going on. And I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get in the way. I'm not going to get skewered. I'm not going to get somebody who's going to tell me what to do or something like that. So Cancer North Node folks is right now, the big message here is slow down, slow down. Uh, I feel like adding to your manifesting practice or your meditation practice yesterday. um, I did my first tarot certification group and We just focused on your connection to spirit. That's really all we focused on yesterday because it is my personal belief that reading tarot is something that requires you to be very honest. You can't want a certain outcome with a reading. It has to come from the cards. It has to come from your connection to spirit and what the story tells you. And so a lot of times we're looking at readings like I want the outcome that I want. So I don't want to look at a reading that says something that might trigger me, but yet that might be the lesson that you need. So there's a lot of, I see that a lot with people going, well, I don't want that because what I really want is I want comfort. So that's something that you should ask about when you're doing a reading for yourself. How can I be comfortable in this situation? And I feel like what's being said to Cancer North Node is, This is a quest to find your home and you can't do it the way you've always done it. There's going to need to be a new way. There's a new sheriff in town here and it is much more methodical. It's much more um, in alignment with this is the very responsible night. This is the night that uh, (laughs) this is the 16 year old boy that you would trust your daughter with. Okay, this is the very the very kind, generous studious, a little bit awkward kind of guy. And Cancer North Node is being asked to sort of like embrace a few of these qualities of being focused on what we all need as a collective, as a family, as a as a, um, a tribe, whatever it is, and be proceeding that way instead of like, I'm doing whatever the hell I want, right? So this is a manifestation that's happening now. And I do feel that in the springtime, there's going to be such clarity around your next, um, the place where you're going to perch or the place of your home. The Cancer North Node is about finding one's home. And this is the absolute um, pathway to it. So if you've been trying to find that, the answer is not to be this is what I need and y'all just need to like go along with it. The answer is to be uh, creating harmony through balance. So that's what you're being asked to do over the next couple of months. Cancer North Node, the quest is to find your home. Knight of Pentacles, you might want to take a deck and take that Knight of Pentacles and put it up in your um, in your room or something like that. So you can under- So you can look at it every single day. All right. So that was cool. So (laughs) if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share to support the channel. I also have a birth chart mastery mentorship. And if you want to learn more about your birth chart and how these points, these, you know, 
uh, places in your birth chart, the, you know, the North Node, your Moon, your Sun, Jupiter, how they're all talking to each other. If you want to figure that out, there is a link in the description box. So come join me on my birth chart mastery mentorship, and it is where you can ask all of your questions and you're going to learn how they all talk to each other. So whenever you see uh, videos about, oh, this kind of transit is happening, Saturn's moving into Pisces and you know, any of the planets moving around, you'll be able to figure out how it will impact you because astrology and knowledge about astrology and looking at the energies and using the energies to your benefit is how astrology is power, okay? Astrology can be daunting. It can be a lot of information. It can be overwhelming. But here's the thing. I believe astrology is power. If you understand how all of these you know, mathematical points and planets and asteroids and everything kind of work together, you'll be able to surf the energies. And that's really powerful. So come join me on my birth chart mastery uh, mentorship. There's a link below. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you want to give me some more information about your own particular North Node. Love to see that.